So I just want to make a video here of this um, Japanese Xbox 360, uh, the slim version that I got, um, just an unboxing video. Uh, I think it's actually pretty neat uh, because I, I can't recall exactly when, but it was just like less than a week ago I ordered it and it already came here from Japan. So to me that's some of the fastest shipping I've ever received. Um, so box. It showed up at my front door, and that's why it was kind of odd, because usually they don't do that. And it's got this going on. I don't know, it mentioned something about a PlayStation 3, but I think that's just the uh, the box uh, being reused for something. So without further ado, I'm going to open it up and then continue. All right, just uh, picking up the video from here. Um, so here it is. Um, definitely in the Japanese version. Um, I decided to go with the Slim. There's a lot of uh, Xbox 360s out there for sale that are the white ones, but um, I mean the smaller drive size might kind of be an issue. Um, I mean the main reason I got these was to play Japanese games because this, um, you know, they were region locked. These consoles, the PS3 wasn't, but that's different. So. Um, but yeah, I think I just decided to go with the Slim because of longevity and, you know, I don't have to worry about getting the red ring or anything like that. The seller also says because of this type of material on the console, the glossy finish, it does get scratched easily, which is completely true about how they made these. So this seller included these, whatever, 100% cloth, little cleaning cloths from Japan. So I thought that was pretty cool of them to do that. Um, so... I guess not a whole lot to look at here. It's just the box. Um, I cannot read Japanese, so um, I imagine these are what's included in the box. Um, that might not actually be all of it though because um, this is a used uh, version. So, But it should have all the manuals and things like that. It's supposed to come complete for the most part. Um, Yep, so it's the NTSC J console, which can play those types of games. So, again, I'll move on to the next part of the video once I get it open. Okay, I decided to not go too far along because it's already interesting. I like how when you first open the box of the, you know, the big flap here, um, it does the jump in, which was their classic kind of slogan. I think even with the original, the, the fat Xbox 360s, the white ones, so... Yep, here it is. It's got a bit of protection with this kind of going on. Um, curious if there's anything different here. I said it still is made in China and that kind of thing. Manufacture date in 2010 of May. So yeah, it's actually fairly clean. And I honestly can't complain. I don't see any scratches at all either. Most of the time if I bought these in the past, including my current one, it's all scratched up. So... Can't complain there. Um, so yeah, go over to this side. Of course, we got all this stuff. Again, maybe not a whole lot to look at because it's just simple setup manuals and things like that. Um, yeah, I guess it tells you how to hook up your headset and get it on the internet or on your Wi-Fi, things like that. <laughs> Can't read any of this anyway, but you know, standard manual stuff. I can go ahead and take the rest of them out just to take a peek. Um, probably warranty showing where the product serial number is. <laughs> I thought this was kind of interesting. They clearly have different kind of artwork in Japan. I don't think this is something that would be on a US uh, manual, this kind of stuff. So, um, I don't know. This actually might be kind of funny to look through, even though I can't read it, but. Uh, so yep, and then we got this last little piece here. A second. Um, yep, that's how to turn the thing on. Quick setup looks like, and I don't know um, warnings and whatever. So let me go further in the box here. Power brake. And as I understand, they should have the same type of outlets in Japan. So obviously this end goes to the console. Uh, let me see if I can get some information on here. Um, I'm looking at it through my camera, so it's not the easiest to see. Um, usually they have the wattage, which 
will indicate oh, 135 so indicate the uh, version of the console but you can also look at the manufacturer date that helps as well um, and then this I know when I bought it they had it advertised as like a a rechargeable one which I'm pretty sure these are available in the US as well they're just a little accessory that go on the battery pack and it's not two AA batteries like you normally have it's in a rechargeable battery pack and it's genuine Microsoft so yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. It, it's always nice to have a controller like this, and <clears throat> a lot of my controllers, the Xbox 360 ones, get worn down, you know, on the thumbstick and other places. So, um, but just feeling this one right now, yeah, it's this is all in pretty good condition overall. Um, and then I guess here, yeah, the standard um, composite video. Uh, which I'm probably not going to use because I, I mean, I'll keep it, but I'll usually use HDMI. And then, of course, a power cable, um, which, uh, yeah, that, that looks like it could go on my outlet. Not sure what this is. Oh, this is just a, a tie around it or something. Okay. Yeah. So that's about it. That's the whole uh, video. Didn't want to make it too long. Just pretty straightforward. And um, that's it. A Japanese Xbox 360 NTSCJ console. Now I can play uh, Japanese games on it.